coming into your YouTube airwaves. I'm Vaughn, the Stat Man, and welcome to the Stat Room. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Vaughn the Stat Man. You can follow me on Twitter at Vaughn the Stat Man. And guys, check out my website, VaughnTheStatMan.com. All right, guys, so let's get into this slate. So before I begin this video, guys, please hit that like button. Please subscribe to my channel and also leave a comment, guys. Thank you. Let's get into it. All right. So yesterday's MLB, guys, we went 2-0. The day before that, we went 2-0. Just wanted to show you guys I'm starting to get into a rhythm with WNBA as well. So 2-0 on WNBA today. So guys, so looking pretty good so far, guys. So when I do my MLB, I might combine both because it doesn't make sense to do one video for each when it'll be easier just to combine both and then do NBA by itself and NFL by itself. All right, guys, so you could just see that I'm getting into a rhythm, guys. And guys, check me out, VonTheStatMan.com. Follow me on Twitter at VonTheStatMan. So guys, let's break down this MLB slate. All right, guys, so let's break down prize picks really quick, guys. So I'm a big fan of pitcher strikeouts and pitcher fantasy scores. I do look at, at, at runs every now and again. Sometimes, guys, I will look at hitter strikeouts. Um, pitcher strikeouts, I like the best. I think that it's a little easier to be able to tell pitcher strikeouts as opposed to like total bases. That's I think that's a little tougher. Hits, runs, RBIs, whatever you guys like for your system. And if it works for you, I say stick with it. I like pitcher strikeouts because pitchers only pitch every five days. Sometimes they pitch every six days, but it's it's easy to get a tail on how pitchers are going to pitch. Now, Kevin Gozman is pitching against the Baltimore Orioles. What I love about this pick is it's his former team and he's not in Baltimore. The Orioles don't strike out in Baltimore. They rock the ball. I'm from Baltimore, guys. I've been to the, the ballpark in, in Baltimore. It's a very small ballpark. So a lot of times if you make contact, it goes over the wall. And it's a low wall when you get out to center field. It's not very high. It's not like in Boston where you have that big green monster. So in Baltimore, and Baltimore has high humidity. If you're new to playing MLB, home runs come when you have a lot of heat. The heat gets under the ball and it carries it. That's what humidity is. So when you have a, that's why in baseball, the warmer it gets outside, the more likely you are to see a bunch of home runs. So Kevin Goldsman is gonna be playing in Toronto. I'm gonna check the weather, but um, Baltimore just played the day before. They're gonna have to travel. And normally that first travel game, you're kind of iffy, especially when you're going up against a former guy, he knows a few of these guys, like he knows Santander, knows a couple of these guys. So I think that um, he's gonna have added motivation. So we're gonna pick Gozman for more guys. Now, for the next prop, we're gonna go and we're gonna target a team that strikes out a lot. Now, when you look at the Los Angeles Angels. They don't have their ace. They don't have their they don't have their their best hitter. And they do hit home runs. I I will admit that they do hit home runs. But the teams that hit home runs typically strike out a lot because they swing for the fences. Like if you look at the Yankees over the past like 5 or 6 days, they've averaged about 7 to 9 strikeouts because they're trying to knock it out the park. And when you swing for the fences, you typically miss a lot as well. Now, they might get four hits in a game, the Yankees. They might have three home runs and four bases or five RBIs because they hit it to um, to knock it out the park. So when you look at, when you're looking at Walden, Walden is gonna go up against a team that, like, like I said, they're gonna swing for the fences. And I know he's traveling, but we love Walton to get more today, guys. So very simple, guys. We got Walden for more, and we got Gozman for more as well. So guys, we're we're four and four and zero over the past two days. We're gonna try to continue this streak so we can go six and zero. So guys, if you like these picks, hit that comment section. And also, guys, if you're playing. Um, 
Underdog for the first time, guys. Underdog has a lot of good props, a lot of good specials. You can go on Underdog, as you can see on the top of the screen. You can use my code, and Underdog will give you a free pick. Tomorrow is going to be a, a hitter or a pitcher, but it will be a, a pick that's very, very easy to win. All right, guys, so that's it, guys. So, guys, don't forget to win win. That means give people what they want so you get what you want. And, guys, don't forget to think in ink. That means write it down so that way it can come true. Good hunting on this big MLB slate. Love you. If you made it this far, don't forget to subscribe and like the video and also leave a comment. Thank you guys again. Love you guys.